Hello, I'm Wayne. This is Bucks County Beer Reviews. We're back for another episode. And today, we're going to take a look at Spring Wake. This is another one I picked out at the beer store because I like the label. It's pretty neat. It's got this circle here. There's like a desert island, a small little island. And there's a skeleton there. And he's raising a toast with his glass. Can you see, can you make that out? This is a New England, <coughs> excuse me, New England India Pale Ale, and it's 6.66% ABV. I don't think that was an accident, right? And it has a date on it of April 5th, 2023. I'm hoping that's a born on date, not a Best Buy date, because we're past that now. But this is brewed and canned by Widowmaker Brewing in Braintree, Massachusetts. And let's see. <clears throat> this one cost me $4.99. And it says, this is the information from Untapped. Coming in at 6.66% ABV, Spring Wake is the tropical party we have been dying to throw and lay those winter memories to rest. Brewed with a wheat and a, an oat heavy grist. Brewed with a wheat and an oat heavy grist. And hopped with mosaic, rock, rockal, and strata hops. Our latest seasonal New England... Damn bugs. <clears throat> Our latest seasonal... New England India Pale Ale pours a bright straw yellow with aromas of pineapple, tangerine, and honeydew melon, culminating in an easy drinking beer we would be happy to take on a permanent vacation. On Untapped, this one does well. It gets a 4.10 with 1,025 ratings. So let's get it out of this can into the glass and see what it looks like. It sounds good from the description. Got this glass today. Get that aroma. Not much aroma. <clears throat> I think I pick up a hint of pineapple and a slight bit of hoppiness. And it pours, it looks like pineapple juice pouring. <clears throat> it is hazy, very hazy. You know, pineapple smells pretty good. Try the head. The head has a nice flavor, just a slight bit of pineapple. Very nice flavor though. <clears throat> All right, let's get into the body. Cheers. Uh, let's see. It's a little bit citrusy, but not much. There's a light pineapple flavor. It's kind of almost creamy from that wheat and oats. It's got a nice mouthfeel. It's very low bitterness. And it does say it's a, uh, <clears throat> an easy drinking beer that we will be happy to take on a permanent vacation. I think if I personally was going on a permanent vacation, I would want something a little more bitter, more hop bitterness. But this one seems to be very refreshing. Oh man, when I switched it and poured it, a whole bunch of chunks came out. I don't know if you can see any of those. 
There's a few pretty good sized chunks. This up here. I like that can. I hope you can see it all. My little screen view on this side of the camera is very small. This is more a refreshing beer. It's not hard hitting in any way. <clears throat> Personally, I like them a little more hard hitting. This is creamy with a slight bit of pineapple. It's not real sweet. Probably again about three sugar cubes out of five. Bitterness is very low. Um, it's barely going to hit two hop cones, maybe one and a half hop cones out of five. It has a slight bit of pith. This is the kind of beer if you just want something refreshing, but you don't want a lager or a light beer, you want something with more than what they offer, this would be a good one. If you're looking for something with bold flavors, bitterness, uh, bold fruity flavors even, this is not the one for, you, for that. But this is nice, it's just nice. With 6.66, .66, you drink a couple of these easy going beers, you'd be feeling pretty good. And $5 for a can these days is not really expensive. I don't consider it for a craft beer, an IPA. Um, for me personally, I would put this at about a, a B. You know, it's not wonderful. It's not as Greg from Greg's Beer Review says, it's not blowing my hair back, you know, but it's good. Give me a little more bitterness for me, personally. Now that's going to do it for this one, Spring Wake. And it was by Widowmaker Brewing in Braintree, Massachusetts. If you like the kind of beers I've described this as being, Pick it up, give it a try. It's pretty nice. All right. That's going to do it for this one. I appreciate everybody checking in. And I'll catch you again. Bye-bye.